Good morning. It's um, just after 7. I woke up. The uh, sky is starting to lighten up. Um, very long night. Uh, this bag works real good. Probably too good. I feel uh, like I was hot and sweaty in it. But I kept warm all night. Uh, the temperature is 39 degrees. I still have reception up here. So I'm able to check the weather and check in and stuff like that. Um, going to start packing up and get started. I'm assuming my... Uh, food bag is still there haven't got out yet i definitely need to go to the bathroom though i've been in the tent pretty much like 11 11 and a half hours It's 7.30 now. I have all my gear in my tent pretty much packed up. I just have to take the tent down. Um, going to go to the bathroom probably before I leave. Might as well take advantage of the solitude here. And then I'll start going. I came out to find my bear bag. Even though I know it's here, it's very hard to see when I'm in my tent. So there it is. You can see that little object right there. That is my bear bag hanging. So I'm going to retrieve it. Uh, you can see the beautiful sunrise happening behind it. Uh, unfortunately, the trees still have leaves up here, which is good in a way. And um, it's blocking some of the sunrise, but you can see the glow of the sky. Uh, it's really very still and quiet here. It's 39 degrees, but it doesn't feel that bad. And here you can see this little slip knot I just put in with the piece of wood. The big thing is always, will the bag come back down? And this bag is pretty heavy, so it does come back down. I have lost a bag once when it got bound on the wood. That was when I first started hiking early on. But pleased to say uh, I got my bag back. The old trail is a dirt road. Um, the camera makes it look better than it is, but you could hike. I feel safe hiking now. And uh, hopefully I won't get lost like I've done in the past. Okay, it's 7.50. I'm getting ready to start. Just finishing up. I used the bathroom, packed up my, all my gear. The tent is down. Um, sun's already up. I would have liked to have left sooner. I think I took my time a little bit. Uh, I'm going to use my MP3 player finally today. I have my poles readjusted for my height, for walking, and my backpack is all set. One thing I like to do is always look over to make sure you don't forget anything. I try to put everything together by my pack so you don't forget anything. Um, also, make sure any gear you stick in these pockets are secure because as you walk, they're going to move and they'll work their way out if they're more out than in. And I want to make sure they stay in. I don't want to lose anything. So, uh, things I've learned over the years. Okay, so we're off. It's officially 753. Uh, always make sure you head in the right direction. Every once in a while, you hear someone wakes up, you know, you get turned around. Uh, feet feel a little better today. Right now, because I'm just starting out, um, they're not quite as sore. Uh, that tightness in the tendons um, has kind of just backed off a little bit. Um, but balls of my feet feel a little better now that they've rested. You know, you don't realize you're off your feet for like 10, 12 hours sometimes in your tent. So that's a good time to recover. Good morning. It's uh, 9.30. I've just walked four miles so far. I'm averaging about uh, 20 to 30 minutes a mile. Um, I've been walking for an hour and 42 minutes. Uh, slow going, up and down, up and down. I've gone up about 700 feet and I've also gone down about 650. So uh, just a lot up and down. Some steep uh, climbs and descents. So. Time to hit the stairmaster when I get back. I'm not in trail shape, I don't think. So, but I'm doing it. But it's slow going. Okay, it's about 9:48 now. I've gone 4.6 miles. I made it to the road, and there's a couple of towers around me here. I'm sorry, you guys sell towers or whatever. Communications. There's a cell tower. Uh, the trail, I believe, goes down this path, and hopefully crosses over. Hopefully there'll be a sign up ahead. 
I'll check back in. Uh, I'm tired already. Not even five miles. So I made it to Mac White Gap. The Pinhoti crosses once again, I think it's Georgia 100. There's the sign. And it looks like someone has left the water here. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Probably have a bottle or two. Uh, much appreciated. Thank you, whoever did that. So I uh, drank some water. I topped off my bottle. And I'm gonna cross this highway, which is pretty busy. And um, across the way is the trail. You can see it directly straight across the road. And unfortunately, I've got about a 370 or something foot climb in front of me. So this is the highway. You can see right there is the trail. And I'm assuming that's the uh, hill or mountain I'm going over. I managed to make it across the highway with not much trouble. Uh, there's also water here. So there's water on both sides and there's the marking. So we're gonna keep going on. Start our slow climb. Okay, after that uh, brief climb, you come out to this gravel road, and I guess you have to turn left on the gravel road and take it down a little bit. There's no markings. There's actually a tree on the left-hand side that has the Pinhoti marking, but it's up on in the woods a little bit, so it's kind of confusing. It's a little after 11 now. I've gone about seven, a little over seven miles. I'm on the, uh, it's like a, looks like an old fire service road really overgrown. The last mile or two since I've been on this road has been really uh, gravelly. Uh, you got to be careful. Even before the, the gap, uh, it was really um, rocky and gravelly and very easy to slide down. I lost my, uh, you know, sli slid a couple of times. So poles definitely help and going slow and looking where you step because um, it's just all loose gravel. Uh, Good afternoon. <laughs> it's uh, 12.50. I just decided to stop and take a break. I am um, on this long uphill climb. That's where I came from. And I still have some more to go. That's where I'm going. But um, just need to take a break. I've been walking for five hours. I've gone 11.3 miles. So um, just need to take a break and take a breather. Just feeling uh, tired, winded. I did have um, a bar earlier. I had um, uh, a bag of Skittles that I was carrying, and now I'm gonna have some Gatorade. Uh, it's tough going. I've uh, been climbing predominantly up over the last uh, several miles. Uh, the trail has been rocky, as you can see here. You can see it's dirt on one side, but there's a lot of loose sleeps and gravel. Okay, it's uh, 144 now. I've done 13, a little over 13 miles, and now I have to go through this blowdown. Looks like somebody's kind of made a path there, but I'm definitely feeling it today. I've got a bit, about two more miles to go, and I was hoping to do another two after that, but we'll see. I gotta say, I'm, uh, I'm definitely feeling it. So let's get through this. If they're sizing it up, I actually decided to go up and around the, the uh, tree trunk. It was a small little climb, and I figured that was faster than me getting down on uh, hands and knees, I'm fitting through there. But I keep going. Luckily, it's mostly down, but uh, it's actually getting my knees to start hurting a little bit. So my left one is talking to me, as I always say. But uh, we'll see. So that may decide whether I stop early or not. We'll see how I feel. I have to look at the map, but uh, I'm. Heading to a creek, it's uh, hopefully just under two miles or around two miles. So I just realized I've been walking for the last, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, probably almost a mile, going the wrong way. There's even, somebody's been putting blue surveying tape along the route, and I saw this here, and I followed it down. Well, obviously, I went the wrong way. Um, I'm not the only one that's there. Look at the comments. Many other people have made the mistake, and I don't know what the blue survey tape is for. I'm assuming it was for the trail because it's been for the last couple of miles on the Pinhoti, but obviously I went the wrong way. So now 
I have to backtrack and waste time. And I'm really feeling it today. I'm tired now. So I made it back. Basically, I did a point eight extra down and now a point eight extra up. More importantly, I'm pissed at myself for not checking sooner. I knew something just didn't feel right, so I checked it. But you can see the blue tape and there's more up ahead. And that's been going on for the last couple of miles. So I figured that was the way. I'm assuming I need to continue down this road. So, and you can see there's more blue tape there. So I don't know where the trail is. Not happy about making the navigational error. It's my fault, obviously, but finally a marking. I am a little frustrated with this trail after walking extra. I haven't seen any other markings since I left that road at the crossing. And I basically walked 0.3 or 0.4 here. There's nothing. There's one white blaze on that tree I just saw and this sign here. I'm assuming I'm supposed to take stay on this trail, but i um, really disappointed in that. I've got to say, I'm a little... Uh, I guess my fun meter is tapped out for today. So, I guess this is a Ben Hody. I would have stayed on the road. But, uh, okay. There it is. So, I've walked uh, over 15 and a half miles today, but unfortunately, 1.6 of them don't count. I think I just saw a group of turkey but they moved over this hill over here before I can get my phone out. So I'm hoping to walk up on them. There's about six or eight of them. But they're pretty far away. And they're obviously very skittish. I must have walked right past where I was planning on stopping. I did see a good spot for tents, but I didn't realize that was the spot. I kept on walking. So I got a two mile or so road walk. I'm gonna keep going, I guess. It's uh, only 3.20, so I'll keep walking. It's uh, paved sometimes and then gravel others, so I should be able to make good time, and I'm going to get down to the road. Uh, both knees are hurting right now and my ankle, so I'm not doing good. So I really wanted to stop, but seeing as it's a road, and I already missed my spot, I don't want to turn around and go back. So it's downhill right now. I'm taking advantage of that. Um, and... Hopefully I'll find a tent site up ahead by a creek, I think it is, and then uh, I'll stop there for the night. Maybe a good night's rest, a better mental outlook, and we'll see how I do. And then we'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow. Um, the knees were quite bad at one point, but now that I'm on more or less level, it's not that bad. But uh, we'll see. You know you've got to be in your civilization if there's a fire hydrant. That means there's utility if they put a water line here. Uh, obviously someone's house is here, I'm assuming, or development. It's got a gate. It's open, but I'm going to continue down the road. Yeah, the knees and the ankle are bothering me again. Uh, even walking on the road right here. So definitely need to stop soon and uh, give them a chance to rest and heal. Maybe I've been pushing it too hard. So I've got a lot of different thoughts going through my mind right now. So, but just trying to push on to get to a good campsite. Okay, I'm walking down this road. There must be some residences or something nearby. There's another fire hydrant. I see it looks like an electrical and a cable box. So I'm just walking down this road. I got about a half mile and I think it meets another main road. So I'm going to camp somewhere around there, I think, and uh, figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and get a camp. Uh, Rest my feet and my knee because it's really talking to me right now. So, um, yeah, and I know I got some mountains coming up. So I think I need to reassess what I'm doing. Uh, I've had the last mile and I have to think about it. So um, I either need to dial back my mileage to probably 15 miles a day or under, which means I won't be able to make my timetable or I'll barely make it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to try and... Uh, get a good night's rest and then think in the morning but I'm gonna strategize what I'm gonna do so I know you can't see me I got the sun blinding me by, by, by in the camera I mean okay there you go yeah it's not there's a better view here's the road It's paved at least so it's easy going there's uh farms and stuff here so I don't know it looks like at the end of that road I guess it meets the main road and then it crosses over 
on the other side of that road and there's supposed to be some campsites. I don't know. I'm going to find a cell site somewhere. I really can't. I don't think I can really walk. And I certainly want, don't want to climb anything right now the way my knees and my ankle are feeling. So, yeah, usually it's just my left knee, but now the left and the right are both hurting. And my left ankle is uh, sore. But that's been tight all day. Oh, there's a blaze or a pinhody marker. So, at least I'm going the right way. Okay, I was walking down this road here. My knee pain is just getting worse. Um, the left one's a lot worse than the right. The right is just sore, but the left is um, painful. I just had to stop. So I'm sitting here on the side. So I'm going to see if I can get a ride back to my car maybe. Um, I don't want to keep walking. I know I got a, uh, a five, 600, maybe 700 foot climb and it's a half mile to the main road i was going to try and make it there but um i just i just can't every pain every step is painful so i think i'm gonna to have to slow down or or rest or whatever obviously georgia slapped me in the face kicked me in my butt um yeah i think i'm gonna call this so uh, I, it's not gonna get better i took an anti-inflammatory this morning uh, prescription and um, <laughs> you see it's not getting any better so those downs have really uh, been painful uh, the uphill's been bad but the downhill has been really bad e even on the road it's hurting so we'll see um, it's made me rethink some things and some plans that I had going forward okay it's uh, 4 o'clock I just phoned home checked in let them know what's going on and I managed to get in touch. I have signal here. Um, I'm going to leave my phone on um, with uh, my shuttle driver, Julie, who is coming to my rescue as a lifesaver. Uh, she's going to pick me up and probably bring me back to my car. Uh, that's going to be it. I've walked 18.2 uh, miles. I got another 0.6 to the road. Uh, she's heading this way. She says it'll be about 40, 45 minutes. So I'll see. I'll try and go as far as I can. I'm walking really slow. So slow my watch is even... even, even <laughs> measuring it but um yeah the, the knee and the ankle on my left foot are just really really bad uh the right foot's a little bit tender but i could walk on that i think i could keep going but it's just gotten worse uh, since about mile 12 12 and a half i'm sure that extra mile and a half uh of my 1.6 uh error that i had it didn't help any so i i just think i probably i'm probably got too much weight uh, walking too too fast, you know. Maybe I need to slow down, uh, scale back the mileage every day. I think 15 to 20 miles is maybe too ambitious. Uh, maybe the first day, the 25 miles was just too much. I think I'm going to reassess this one. I'm going to get a ride back to my car. Uh, I'll probably get some food. I don't even care at this point, um, and I'll decide what I'm going to do. But more than likely, I'm not going to keep coming up and back to the trail. Uh, the problem is if I can't do the mileage, I won't be able to make my pickup in 10 days and, um, that's going to throw everything off. So, so sadly, the wandering Drew isn't wandering anymore. Um, really feel bad about that. Um, you know, I, I planned this a little bit. I could have done a little better job maybe, uh, but I, you know, I really saw myself finishing the Pinhoti. And um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. But uh, I got I had other plans and other hikes planned. And this is really making me rethink those and reevaluate them. Um, if I can't do hiking the way I like to do it, you know, um, I guess I could slow down the mileage, do 10 miles a day, or 12 or something, and try and work up. Maybe I need to do hit the gym a little bit um I, I don't i don't know i have to think it over but um it looks like after 65 miles or so uh this one's gonna be done so sadly i didn't even make it to dalton well this is where the pinhoti is going to stop for me there's the last two markings i'm right here at a junction between the road I was on and the main road. I'm gonna wait here. I got a shuttle driver coming. 
and um, uh, that's gonna be it. I'll get it right back to my car, I guess, in Cape Springs, and I'll probably start driving. Maybe I'll get a hotel later on. I'll start driving south. We'll see. I could stay at the inn tonight, but I probably won't. Uh, so I got a while to wait. I think maybe 30 minutes. I don't even know. So, but just a whole flood of emotions right now. So, but uh, walking that last uh, half mile uh, was not pleasant. And um, both legs are really tight, obviously. Um, my knees are just really the problem right now. Um, the ankle I could kind of deal with. I'm probably, I know it's an overuse injury. Um, but the knee is just, uh, just makes every step uh, torturous. It's just really painful. So, and resting kind of helped a little bit, but not much. As soon as you start walking, um, it just comes right back. So, I, I don't know. I, I'm assuming I didn't injure anything. I don't think I did. Um, I never felt pain, like, sh you know, like a sharp pain. It was just a dull ache that just got worse and worse as the day went on. So, I'm hoping it's just, you know, from overuse. Uh, you know, I've been running lately, which is probably not the best. And I know last year I was running, I hurt myself. I had to do physical therapy. And then I went on, the, I stopped running so that I could go on my um, California trip to Mount Whitney. And then I came back and did a 10K. Um, I had the same, ten, same 10K in a month from now. And I've been training and I trained up until I left. And off and on, I've been getting some knee pain from the running probably. So I probably need to stop that or do some strength training to strengthen the knee. Uh, which is what I did in physical therapy last year, right before I went to Whitney. Um, I did some physical therapy, but um, I don't know. <laughs> the joys of getting older, right? Good morning. It's uh, Thursday morning now. I got off the trail yesterday. I drove a couple hours. I stopped just outside of Atlanta. There was a lot of road construction. Traffic was backed up. Um, uh, knees were really bad last night. Um, getting out of the car and trying to get into the hotel was uh, interesting. Um, I got the hiker hobble, but I think it's for my knees more than just over, you know, walking. Uh, by the time I got up into the room, it was after nine. I uh, really just showered and kind of went to bed. So um, the knees are still sore. Uh, the ankle hurts. Uh, so um, it's, you know, tip, but it feels to me like typical stuff when you get off the trail. But it just for two or three days, I don't think I should have this much uh, trouble walking or being pronounced because I've you know, done two, three day hikes and usually have nothing. It's usually when you're out there for several days that you have that hike or hobble going on, you know. You know, maybe a combination of uh, tactics to make it easier for me to do in terms of cutting my mileage. Uh, maybe my expectation as I get a little older and maybe just until I get in shape, you know, because, I, I mean, I can train and ruck and all, do all these things I've been doing but obviously it's not the same as when you're actually hiking. Where I am is flat, there's no terrain. Um, and I can, I can walk 20 miles carrying a backpack. I mean, I've done it. Uh, and obviously I've done it on the trail too, but there's a toll for that. But walking around my neighborhood, even with a weighted pack, is still not the same as going up and down Georgia's mountains. And that's where I always say Georgia comes and slaps you in the face. And it reminds you that the only way to get in shape for hiking, to me, is hiking. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, sorry that this didn't turn out the way I expected. Appreciate you uh, watching. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Definitely leave a comment below. There's a lot to comment on. Um, and consider subscribing if you're so inclined. Till we meet again.